How many of you guys have heard of Justin Bieber? <laughs> Wave at me if you've heard of him. Okay, good, you had me worried there for a minute. This is his mom. Go ahead and share it with me. What do you want me to share? I don't know, whatever you want. These guys are my grandparents. <laughs> Come on. Um, my spiritual mom and dads, my parents, um, from Stratford, we're kind of discipled and raised up by um, John and Carol, and whew. it's thick up here, yeah. Huh? And I remember giving my life to Jesus in a hospital room after I had recently tried to commit suicide mm -hmm. and whew, six months later I um, I was pregnant mm. and I I rededicated I gave my life back and I said oh my gosh I took my life back in my own hands and look what I did I was so shamed how could I go back into the church pregnant and unwed and so full of shame and you taught them to love me and pick me up and love me where I was at when you fall down you get up and you keep on going come on Patty yes come on. so so I remember coming here I lived in a, a pregnancy home had a choice um, there was a lot going on and uh, I needed to live in a pregnancy home. And so while I was living there, John Brown came and picked me up and he said, you need to come. It was 1994, it was January or February, just right after this whole craze had um, bust out of the father's love in all kinds of funky ways and awesomeness. Yeah. And um, I remember uh, a whole bunch of leaders praying over me and just filled with the spirit and, and prophesying that I was going to birth revival, <laughs> that I was going to birth revival. I was birthing revival. I was birthing yeah. revival. And they prayed deliverance uh, of fear and uh, prayed all kinds of awesome protection and stuff over us. And then um, when I had him I, at, at the church you guys planted in Stratford, we dedicated his life to Jesus. And... Um, whole bunch of stuff has happened throughout the years and I just s stayed serving the Lord um, maybe not perfectly but faithfully and um, and let the Lord kind of bring moms and dads and and help uh, it takes a village to raise a child don't you know he is like having ten and <laughs> so I remember he came here he's 12 and it was right. right before Justin Bieber became Justin Bieber and he um, was here fresh wind. It was the first year he was here without me. I used to come every year yeah. with all the youth. And I remember he came, he was 12 years old, and they, the 20-somethings picked him up. There was like 5,000 people here. I remember it was a lot. Right. And they picked him up as, as a sign to upholding the next generation, and they marched him around the room, and they had they no did. idea they who, what, what God was going to do and, and all that. So... This has kind of been like a full circle um, for us. And I remember the, the Lord hitting me and just, I would land on the floor and I was travailing. The first time I, it hit me, the Spirit of God hit me and I, I ran to the back of the room trying to get away from people and I, I went into the, the cushion. I was like, oh, oh, I never, nothing like that had ever happened to me. The Spirit of God had come over me and I was releasing something and I was like embarrassed and I came back and Sue, I was like, well, I don't know what just happened to me. I had to yell and then come back, and I did it again. And Sue said to me, she said, the Bible says, and she showed me a scripture. It says, the, the spirit prays through us with groanings and utterings that words cannot express. And I was like, wow. Thank you. That was awesome. So we've just been coming here, and 
I remember God hitting, I hit the floor one time just travailing and praying that um, we would take back the arts, 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 we would take back the arts. Come on. He's using us and he put us here right at the top of the mountain. He showed, showed us that he was just going to, he said, you guys have done it your way long enough. Move over, it's my turn. I'm going to show you guys how it's done. And so he put all these people at the top and he's like, okay, now shine for me. And I'm going to move in and I just believe this is, it's time. And he's bringing revival. Yeah. Um, correct me if I don't get this quite right, but just, just a couple of weeks ago, Justin tweeted out something to, I don't know, whatever his followers are, something like 90 million people or something like that, <laughs> about Jesus is the way and Jesus is the light and Jesus is the truth. And, um, we're just so proud of him for doing that because... So he, many say, say the name of God and they say, you know, thank God, thank God, but he says Jesus loves you and Jesus, yeah. Jesus, and his Jewish um, manager, um, God bless him, he's amazing, he would say, you know, not everyone can relate. Maybe just God bless you. God loves you. And you would say, no, you guys would die for your faith. I would die for mine. It has to be Jesus. Come on. <laughs> Give the Lord a big shout. Come on, Daddy. Come on down here.